Hi guys, it was interesting seeing what's in your bags last week. Sophie, how do you fit so much stuff in there? Also, you're so welcome to have a haircut if you just get your S here. Guys, joined me. Cat. Actually, fun fact about this little fluffy munchkin. This week she had to go to the dentists. She had a bad tooth and so she had to get a, a cleaning done. We now have genuinely toothbrush and toothpaste for us to try and keep her teeth maintained. I'm not really sure how we're going to manage that. That should have been a video really, us trying to, to get toothpaste on her. Because that, that so won't work. She will not allow that. We don't have anything set this week so I thought I'd talk about a couple of things that have gone on recently. First of all it would be remiss of me not to talk about this on camera when I have bored everyone in person about this. Recently I read a really really interesting book called Quiet and then it has a next bit which Abby always adds on, I can't remember. It's about introverts and extroverts and I know this is such old news and Abby read it last year and I'm only reading it now. But I just wanted to say it is the most incredible book, especially if you are an introvert. It's interesting because it makes you reassess yourself and think about the world that we live in. An introvert recharges their batteries by being alone, whereas an extrovert recharges their batteries by being with people. Now, I do like being with people and I enjoy being with friends, but it's really important for me to have alone time. I'm not the sort of person who likes to do stuff every evening. It really exhausts me if I don't have just time by myself. And it was really interesting reading this book that shows a world that expects you to like socialising and being with people all the time. Reading about offices where you're expected to sort of be in each other's company the whole time and it can be really stifling and it can be really hard and obviously my job's completely different I have to interact with my colleagues and things but sometimes you just want to be separate and it's interesting seeing this introvert extrovert world laid out in this book also she talks about school and about how it's really geared towards extroverts in many ways how you do group activities and that can just leave you just sitting there quietly and that was me at school. I was always conscientious, quiet, those, I should have used the little air bubbles. But you know, that's how teachers describe me all the time. And it just meant I sat there and I didn't say anything. To this day, really, unless I have something to say, I don't say it. You have to really piss me off or I have to really know what I'm talking about. And it's interesting to consider things like that. So if you haven't read it, uh, I would definitely recommend it. It blew my mind. It was really interesting. Next up, yesterday I saw Frozen for the first time. I think Abby's a bit pissed off with me because I haven't properly told her what I thought about it. So here are my thoughts, Abby, just for you on Frozen. So late compared to everyone else. I thought it was a really sweet film. I like the fact that sisterly love is at the center it has a really good heart it has good lessons to it some of the songs i don't love as much as i might have done maybe and that is because i hear them all the time and i think it's that i hear them all the time sung badly or oftentimes sung badly it was quite cool actually to finally understand why everyone before they start singing do you want to build a snowman in that accent always go so it was nice to understand that. I don't think Let It Go is the best song in the movie. Um, I think there are some lovely songs. I think what... I know this is a stupid thing to really love about the film. The way they did clothes was amazing. Every time they turned with those dresses, it was just incredible. So I think that animation was really good. The snowman was very, very cute. Olaf, I do know names. And yeah, good lessons about maybe thinking before you get engaged to someone that you've known for 24 hours. That's actually really important, I think, because Disney is so into people meeting and, oh, they have the connection, so they fall in love. And that's not what it's like. It's like, oh, Kristoff? Is that Jonathan Groff? Um, that character, sh they, people should see that it starts as a friendship, but 
uh, or not even a friendship, a necessity to be together, and then it develops into something more. Sorry, Sophie, you haven't watched Frozen, so I hope I haven't given any spoilers, but you know, it's Disney. It's not completely mind-blowing <laughs> in terms of story. It is different because it shows that true love doesn't have to just be about a man and a woman in a romantic love. There can be different kinds of love and that's an important lesson for Disney to be teaching because I think so often it can just be man and woman. Like freaking Little Mermaid, she gives up her family so that she can be with a man. That's not a good message. Sophie, this is the last video you will see of me before you are running your marathon. So I want to say good luck. You can do it one foot in front of the other. It's a really, <laughs> it's a long way, but you've been training really hard. Look after your feet in the run up. Oh, the run up, I'm sorry. But look, look after your feet this week and it's super exciting. I hope the weather is slightly better than it has been today. I hope it's sort of nice and blue skies but not too hot. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for you. And yeah, go Sophie, yay! I will see you next week when you will be done and a champion. Bye.